So uh, today in Ken, we're supposed to be starting a uh, whole new class, really, since we just took our final uh, yesterday. Going to go work on my ASL now. It's been a really long time since I've done any of it because of my, um, you know, midterms and finals that I've had to study for, and it's taken way more time than I expected. So now that they're all over, I can finally start doing some more ASL. I have one test that I need to do in ASL, and then I'll be able to move on to the uh, next unit. Alright, so that's my uh, ASL finish for today. It's warmed up a lot. It's really weird. I don't need my jacket anymore. So, uh, now we're just going to be heading to practice. That's it's either going to be a really light day or a really hard day because it's Friday and we were supposed to have a meet today. So my guess is it's going to be a hard day because we were prepared to swim hard in today. We're really close to um, 400 subscribers on the main channel. It would be awesome if before the end of this month I could hit 400 subscribers. So um, I'll leave a link to my main channel up in the corner over there. Uh, in the cards and then on the end screen as well and in the description so share that link share the videos that I make on my main channel they're all super super cool woodworking movies so I really appreciate a lot if you share those videos around Will why is the pool locked? I don't know your legs are basically not fully shaped that's a fish what is it? I've been home for a little bit now, and we're gonna go and walk to dinner. It's kind of far away, but also not really far away. It's that sort of distance. Hello. So, dinner was pretty good. It's the next day now, and we're gonna stop at the hardware store. We gotta pick up paint brushes um, for the milk paint stuff that I'm doing with the spatulas and stuff. Here we go, paint brushes. Um, foam ones. Um, or bristles. Five dollar one inch brush, or let's see. I think I'm just gonna go with uh, foam brushes. I got four colors, so I'm gonna need four brushes. Got the paint brushes, and now we're gonna go home and start working on a new video. Can't see very much, but uh, there we go, and uh. Pretty much all set to start recording, so I'm gonna have to say goodbye to you, and then I'm gonna start on with the movie. Uh, sit rep. Um, it's pretty cold, but I'm starting to warm up from sawing so much. I've got uh, the pieces that I have milled right there. I've got two 16-inch pieces and one 18-inch piece, um, and then I have two more logs to mill up. It's been like maybe 30 minutes, so I think that's pretty good for time. I've been using this hand saw right here. It's like a limb saw. It's pretty, pretty good. Um, it's only binded a couple times with this jig that I made. Um, it's explained why it's binding in the video, which you can check that out in the description once it's live. Um, and that's it. I gotta change the battery on the camera. It's ran out. Um, so after that, after I mill those two up, I think I'll have lunch and then continue on with the video. So we have nine pieces all cut up and they're ready to go into the bandsaw. I think it's just that one, that one, that one, and maybe this one will fit in the bandsaw. This one might fit too, but like this one won't fit and that one won't fit. But look at that crazy grain in there. So I have a couple of them that will fit in the bandsaw. The rest of them I'm going to dry out in that whole block form. And then later on I'll take some uh, splitting wedges and an axe and a sledgehammer to make them into some smaller pieces that will fit in the bandsaw. All right, so I gotta take everything inside now. I'm gonna leave the wood, which is over there, um, outside because it's still freezing out. You know, water is gonna stay solid and not go liquid and turn into liquid water. Um, and that will mean that those will not dry out and they will stay wet since they're not gonna be drying out because the water is still frozen in there they won't start to crack while I'm getting lunch. Because that wood movement can be that fast where the you cut the wet log 
and then 10 or 30 minutes later, it's uh, already cracked. So, lunchtime though. Look at the drawers pulled up because for some reason it's really hard to pull to push that drawer back in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jade. Alright, lunch has been had. I had some tuna. My dad made tuna, and there was some left over. Thank you, Dad. Um, now, we're supposed to have snow Sunday or Monday, and it's Saturday right now, and we got some stuff in the garage. There you go, you can see it. Oh god, I'm all washed out. Um, but, we got some stuff in the garage, and I need to make room, so I gotta push all this stuff over there and make sure there's enough room for my mom to get her car in. And we also want to put the snow tires on her car. So, I'm gonna move this jack out and clear up room. This sounds wonderful. There's now space for the car, space has been made, and now, we're just putting snow tires on. We got torque wrench, an old torque wrench. Hopefully it's still accurate. And Dad's got the uh, sockets. sockets. Yeah. And oh man, so this video turned out to be a complete and utter failure. I only got three boards out of the um, three logs that I was milling up. And that's because, if you can see, I don't have the skill and accuracy on my bandsaw to be able to cut straight cuts, you know? Um, also, this is a very, very underpowered bandsaw for what I was trying to do. Um, you know, cutting through four inches of hard, hard white oak is not going to work very well when you have a underpowered bandsaw, so I did learn from this experience, though. Um, I kind of thought of another way I might be able to do this in the future, um, so I'm going to leave these boards to dry. I'd like to thank you for watching, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you really love what I'm doing here, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.